Hey everybody, welcome to Man Who Eats, and today we're eating maple glazed cedar plank salmon with grilled asparagus. Let's get cooking. Okay, first off, we're going to go ahead and season our salmon. About an hour ago, I got the grill fired up for about 400 degrees direct. And I also soaked a piece of cedar plank. Now what you can do with this is you can find this in any of your grocery stores and you just want to soak it about an hour ahead of time so that you uh, don't run the risk of burning this up in the grill. You want to make sure it's good and soaked, get that good oils going once you put it on the grill and also ensure that it doesn't catch fire. Next up we're going to go ahead and season our salmon. Now today I'm using two rubs, one from Lane's Barbecue and the other from Fox Brothers Barbecue. This is primarily for color. This will be most of your flavor. This is the garlic two seasoning. Now, if you don't have this, you can use some granulated garlic, you can use some salt and pepper, and you just want to season it lightly. So let's go ahead and get these seasoned out. So that's all you're looking for, just a little bit of seasoning on there, just to get those good and ready to go. Now, for a little bit of color, you're gonna use the Fox Brothers rub, or you can use your favorite barbecue rub. Just a little bit on there is all you really need. Now, once you've seasoned the salmon, it's time to get the soaked cedar plank board on the grill. You'll want this to heat up, char a little bit on each side, just to get those cedar oils going and uh, get some of that smoke flavor. So we'll go ahead and put that on right now. Okay, it's been about two minutes and you can see the smoke is rolling, which means it's about time to flip the cedar plank and get these salmon fillets onto the plank. Now you want to be careful doing this, either do it with some tongs or if you have protective gloves, you can use those. You can see the grill is good and hot, it's time to put those salmon fillets on. And that charring that you're seeing on here is actually a good thing. That's the oils, that's the uh, fragrance of the cedar getting ready to go. You want that char, and now you'll see the salmon will take that on. We'll put those on for about 10 minutes. Now, while those salmon are on the grill, let's go ahead and start making that glaze. This is going to be a maple balsamic vinegar glaze, and what you need to start with first to get yourself a measuring cup, and you're going to want to put in about a quarter cup of your maple syrup. So we'll start with that. Just a little bit more than covering the bottom there, that should do it. And from there, we're going to add a little bit of balsamic vinegar just to thin that out. And I like to add a little bit more of the garlic rub to this, just to enhance those flavors and really help them carry through. Need to make sure we mix this all together. and your balsamic glaze is ready to go. Now the asparagus, we're gonna go ahead and get that ready to go. So the asparagus, just picked up from the grocery store this morning. I'll show you a quick trick on how to know where to cut these. So you take your one spear of asparagus and you go ahead and break it. And wherever it breaks is where you're gonna go ahead and line up your knife for all of them. And that's a quick way to go ahead and ensure that all of your asparagus is going to be nice and tender. And we'll go ahead and put these on once we've checked the salmon and we ensure that it is ready to go. Okay, so the salmon have been cooking for about 10 minutes now. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at those. So you can see the nice color on the salmon here. It's really starting to take on some of that charred smoke flavor. We'll go ahead and check the internal temp and see where we are. We're at about 91, 92 degrees. That should be enough. We got about five to 10 more minutes to go. And we will go ahead and glaze these now. And you're just looking for a light coat. This is going to get very sticky very quickly with all that sugar and maple syrup on there. But it really provides a nice color and a really nice finishing glaze to this. You can see how thick that is. That's kind of what you're looking for. And it will flare up a little bit, but that's okay. All right, we'll check on that in about two more minutes. Okay, while the salmon is going ahead and uh, taking that first round of the glaze, we're gonna go ahead and prep our asparagus. We've already got it cut, 
So we're just going to go ahead and lightly dress it with a little bit of the balsamic vinegar just to help the salt and pepper stick to it. A lot of people will use oil, that's okay too. I like the balsamic vinegar because this is not going to stick to the grate regardless. It's just going to be a perfect uh, amount and you'll be able to get a little bit of seasoning on there. So a little bit of salt. And then we'll do some fresh ground black pepper. That's really all there is to this. We'll go ahead and throw these on. These will take about uh, five to 10 minutes themselves. And so to time this right, once the salmon comes off, these should be just about ready to go. And we'll take the asparagus off as well, plate it up, and then we'll be ready to eat. We are now at the point where we're going to put the asparagus on, give the salmon one more glaze, and then let it all come together in the last five minutes. And they will be fine right there. Some of them will steam, some of them will grill. Once we pull off the cedar plank, that's when we'll rearrange the asparagus, really get them over the hot coals and let them cook. Meanwhile, the salmon is ready for another glaze. You can see that's taking that nicely. Ready to get that glazed up. And that's looking real good now. Okay, we only got about two or three more minutes to go and then the salmon will be done, the asparagus will be just about done, and it'll be time to plate up. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes in total. Let's check on the salmon one more time. And what we're looking for is an internal temp somewhere in the 120 to 125. You can see we're right there at 127 in one, and the other one about 125. So we're right there, it's time to take these off. You gotta be real careful with this, either use protective gloves, or as I'm doing some tongs and a fish turner to get just a good secure grip on that salmon board. Now that that's off, we can go ahead and move this asparagus over to the hotter portion of the grill and get that ready to go. That'll only take another minute or two and then we'll be ready to plate. Now once these salmon come off, that's when I like to hit them with a little bit of more glaze just to really enhance that flavor and get that nice finishing sheen to it. Now these salmon are going to be very garlicky very sweet and they will be very delicious. Now the asparagus has some nice color to it and uh, it is pliable to the touch and it should have a little crispness with some nice charring as you can see going on right there. Now finally to plate this, what you're going to want is get yourself a nice white plate and we'll put some asparagus down first with the top end sticking out and take your best looking salmon filet and lay that right across there. And there you go. Some maple glazed cedar plank salmon on the big green egg. Let's go ahead and try it and see how it is. You can see it just flakes apart. It is so moist with a nice glaze on it. Let's dig in. First thing you get is that sweetness from the maple syrup followed by that garlic flavor. And it's just so tender and delicious. This will be perfect for a date night. Make something for your anniversary. This is, once again, some maple glazed salmon on the big green egg. If you like what we're doing here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and check out the recipe on my website, manwhoeats.com. See you next time.